Hi everyone, it's 20th Feb, it's Tuesday, 3.29 p.m. in the afternoon, uh, another video blog on another blockchain application and I've been on a bit of a roll in regards to opportunities for content providers such as myself, uh, I'm a coach, I've got my own business here, I do a lot of life, uh, lifestyle coaching, I do a lot of uh, expression, I do a lot of cryptocurrency videos, I think allow me to do podcasts and things and, and I am exploring that and I have been on SoundCloud and I have done some of these things but I think the future is really going to be more about this thing here you know uh, being able to utilize the phone uh, for broader applications then uh, especially if you've got content and I think there's a lot of talent out there and I talked about this with White Rabbit in my last video is that there's a lot of ability people have got stuff to express and Currently you see a little bit of it on YouTube, but the thing about YouTube uh, and other streaming sites is that there isn't really an incentive to reward hard work for content, unless you've got the type of personality to really drive forward. And I think, you know, in a lot of ways you should reward hard work, and I do believe that. Uh, however, there's, there's, people don't always have the time to, to dedicate 100% to a, a content providing uh, platform or a niche or, or a topic. Um, you know, some people do it part time and things like that. However, blockchain and tokenized futures are going to uh, allow greater opportunity if we can use our phone and desktop, and, and uh, it brings more of the, the talent and there's a lot more focus on peer-to-peer -peer rewarding rather than the centralized platform doing all the distribution of the rewards and marketing and things like that. Uh, a bit like, it's like social media, peer-to-peer -peer rewarding, the, the, the power of dopamine uh, and getting people to, uh, uh, like I said, express their gratitude to content. Now, the thing about current, now current is a, another, another blockchain, another application. Now, before you go, oh, this looks really good, there is no ICO, there are no uh, tokens up for grabs. They've already uh, got the backing from private investors. So, so there's obviously some very, very interested parties uh, who are financially supporting this particular application. So this video is just to talk about it and to have a bit of a, I want to show you some slides and some information that I've got from current. Um, to express why it might be better for content providers and why this application may be worth considering in the future. So uh, we've got Current, which is a content all-round diverse content providing application. So what is uh, Current? I'm just going to press this video. It goes for 52 seconds. I'm Current. Consuming your media is easier and more rewarding than ever. Current rewards its community through Current's new digital token designed for the media industry. Play your favorite music, videos, podcasts, and even more to earn currency tokens. Every time a token gets paid, everybody in the community gets a piece of it. Consumer, creator, curator, and referrer. Currency tokens can be spent in two key ways. Consumers can save money on their existing media subscriptions outside of Current or even get them for free. Creators and advertisers can buy ads on the current platform. Find out more at current.us or join us on Telegram. Just a quick one. It uh, shows you it's a, a social media uh, content provider, media expert, anyone that's got something to share. Uh, avenue and you know it's going to bring in advertisers it's going to bring in communities it's going to bring in more innovation and more content uh, what I do like about this is that it's an app not and, and I was talking about white rabbit being a plugin and nothing against white rabbit but um, you know being a plug-in on the desktop um, how does that apply to the phone are they going to be doing a phone app as well I'm not too sure uh, this sounds like it's a, a little bit more focused on the power of this thing. I think uh, more and more people are getting um, phones and I think a lot more people are spending more time on this type of uh, platform, if you like, or a device. Uh, you know, iPads, phones, a little bit more personal, a little bit more portable. Um, now, like I said, current doesn't have an ICO. It's not about tokens. It's not about going in there and making a million bucks. This is about changing the way we get rewarded for content. Maybe it's going to take, uh, you know, Facebook f uh, head on. Uh, who knows? So I've got a few pages open here. Just want to share some information. 
Um, so Current is the next generation of media streaming. So they're talking about a platform, it's going to be a protocol, and there's going to be a token, uh, basic stuff there. Now, they're talking about anyone can earn CRNC, which is going to be the tokenized token. And just remember with tokens, and some people go, where's the money and value come from? The value comes from the intrinsic utility or use uh, and if the community has a sense of value for these particular tokens based on, you know, it's used as a form of transaction or a reward, you earn it out of the ground, you're going to, you, this is the same. The same with like mining Bitcoin. You've got the GPUs running and you're paying electricity. What are you doing here? You're putting in the effort, you're, you're uh, creating uh, podcasts, you're creating content, you're doing the hard yards to communicate to your communi uh, community and, and uh, build um, a platform where you can express yourself and that's where the intrinsic value is in these particular uh, tokens. Now, a token is just the trade, it's the, the unit of trade, it's the expression, it's the reward. Um, so what they're talking about is reducing subscription costs and you'll have access to all your favourite content um, and it's very, very simple in the sense that there's going to be a wallet, it's all there, and you've got the application um, and you can see and, and do everything from one place. Now, I opened up a one pager. I always I like these because it sort of gets it all in one place, uh, place whereas the white, page, uh, white papers tend to be a little bit more in depth and a lot bigger. I always open them uh, out of due diligence and have a look and find the key information, and it does come out at you. So, what is current? Current is creating a digital token and protocol that is a method of exchange for time, attention, and data in the digital landscape. It's starting with media, creating an all in one personalized experience that rewards users for streaming from the networks they love, like Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, and more. So they're talking about creating an application that's going to, be, to have access to the major existing platforms from the sound of that. Uh, users require no prior knowledge of blockchain technology, no cryptocurrency holdings, and no change in behavior as they are rewarded by consuming the networks they already use. That sounds very, very powerful. So we're talking about that you won't have to change your behavior, okay? You might have to create, have an app, but it'll all be integrated, your YouTube, your SoundCloud, your Spotify, it all comes into one place, there's a wallet. You go and do what you normally do. You might have your favorite podcast that you listen to and your favorite YouTube videos and you've got your favorite artists on SoundCloud and all of a sudden uh, there's a network of reward systems going back to the platforms, back to the content providers, and I do have a little bit of a sneaky peeky of uh, how those payments are going to be made too. So, uh, like I said, this is already being well financed. It's been packed, backed. There's no ICOs because they've they've even fast tracked that they were going to, and apparently they've cancelled it because um, someone's gone and put the money into it. So, uh, very interesting times. Um, now, I, I have opened up the white paper and I'm just going to run through um, a couple of things. Now, what they're talking about is what's the, what are the dynamics of the token um, and, the, and the protocol itself. And the stakeholder list is going to be the consumer, which is us, uh, looking at the uh, using the app. There's going to be the curator, which is the person organising the playlist or bringing the content into the network from an, an external source. I mean, that could be the the content provider. I mean, I think on Spotify you can create playlists. So there's a little bit of interesting stuff there. What my experience with curators on Steam uh, or Steamit is that you actually you know, go around rewarding people by reading the articles, and if you like it, you reward it, make a comment, um, and just the act of curating allows you to earn a reward. Then you've got the content provider, the creator, the personal group responsible for the content being played. Uh, then they've got the referrer, a person responsible for bringing the consumer onto the platform. So uh, there's going to be an incentive to bring. You might know a coach uh, like myself who, who does uh, content and uh, you've heard about uh, Current and you go, hey, come over to Current and you get a little reward. Uh, pretty normal business stuff going on there. Growth pool, the pool of tokens that ensures liquidity and proper supply in the total token supply pool. Uh, there's always going to be a certain amount of tokens there's going to be um, obviously incentives to hold tokens uh, and obviously use tokens to reward your content providers and, and to have access to this particular platform. I think there is a subscription. I think it's around about $5 US and we'll find out in a minute. Um, but obviously you can buy tokens and, and do whatever. And, and I think it's very rewarding. What I found, what I like about Steemit, uh, I've got a little bit of power. I, I can reward people for coming onto my page. Anyone who comes onto my page, I generally upvote and 
and reward them for making the effort to come in and saying hello and making content. And if the comment's really good, I'll upload it. If it's one of my friends, I'll always support them. Of course I do. Um, and uh, I'd like giving people a little bit of money for, for making the effort. And I think it goes both ways. You give and you get, you know, and I, I think that's why I think that one of the big things about token tokens and, and blockchain is that peer-to-peer -peer network, community, giving, um, that human nature where if you've got the capacity to reward someone for effort uh, rather than just a like on Facebook or a little comment, um, it, it's going to go really well. And I think it also gets rid of the trolls. Um, you, you know, there's no point trolling someone um, if you're not going to get rewarded for it. You probably get downvoted and you lose power. And that's what the advantage of what I've seen on Steam it compared to, say, like Facebook. And, and then, then there's uh, obviously a reward uh, for the time spent not only in providing the content, but probably from the, the actual interaction with the content. Uh, for, I mean, there's a variety. They're talking about YouTube and SoundCloud, so it's a different, different platforms there. So the consumer um, is going to get 55%, um, and that's spent with current platform or with external partners and traded on external exchanges. So this is, oh, sorry, this is the token, uh, total token supply. So there's going to be 50%, 55% that goes to the consumer. There's going to be 20% that goes out to the creator. That's spent or traded. Um, then there's going to be curators. There's going to be 20% available for, for people curating. Then there's going to be a 3% reward for getting people on, and that could just be a simple reward, uh, sorry, referral link and those sort of things. I mean, some of these details are still unclear. Um, then there's a growth pool, uh, return to the current total token supply uh, to perpetuate platform growth. So you've got 2% going in a cycle, um, and that keeps coming back in. So instead of just keeps creating tokens, uh, and more and more and more tokens, which is going to be deflate the overall value of the token, because you want to reward content providers by having an inflation in price, um, or, or at least some sort of steady price. Uh, and I think that's a great idea. If you've got some, uh, obviously, coins being used and being held, there's a little bit more that comes in, which is going to entice new uh, content providers and things like that. So a lot of this will sort of work its way out. And you just got to remember, a lot of this evolves and can be altered a little bit and I'm sure they can make some adjustments. Um, then there's another little uh, document that uh, pulled up. It's called a deck PDF. Um, and on the website, they've got a white paper, a, a one pager, and a, and a deck PDF. I, I recommend that you open up all, all three to have a look because there's little bits of uh, different information on each one. So one of the advantages of currency is and what they're talking about when they can compare it to Opus, and I don't even know what Opus is, and I looked at that. Um, so I'm going to have to go and have a little look. Uh, and it seems to be a pre-launched decentralized blockchain media company, so something new. Um, then you've got YouTube, Spotify, you've got TuneIn. There's no mention of uh, SoundCloud, and, and I imagine there'll be various other platforms. So they're talking about, this is what Current will have. Current will have worldwide availability, free offline access. It's going to have AM and FM internet radio. It's going to have audio books and podcasts. It's going to have a robust video library. It's going to have uh, decentralized media. It's going to accept crypto as payment. Now, I'd have to look into it a little bit more in regards to what type of cryptos. And obviously, they'll accept their own coin. Maybe there'll be a little of an, uh, of an exchange in there. I know there's going to be a wallet. So there's still uh, some details to come forward, uh, probably a little bit more research from me. And you can come onto the website and have a look um, and see if this is going to be something you'll put onto your phone in the future. Um, it sounds pretty good so far. And it's also going to be uh, rewarding consumers. I mean, if, if you compare current to YouTube and Spotify, uh, I also own a record label, SJ Records. Um, I do it sort of part-time, amazing artists. Um, I, I liked helping getting their music out. Uh, however, there's very little reward having the music on YouTube or on uh, even SoundCloud. You don't get paid for the plays. People are ripping the music off. Uh, and that's why I really like the content providing platforms such as Current and White Rabbit and Steemit and DTube and all these ones that are allowing people to express themselves and get rewarded you know, in a transparent way. You can see it, you know what's, how it's being distributed um, and it's, uh, it's just going to bring, I think it's going to bring, in the next 15, 20 years, it's going to bring innovation of creativity. We're going to see people who didn't really put in the effort uh, to set up their channel because it was all too hard. Now they can get rewarded. And once they get that taste of a, um, a reward from some tokens for maybe a video, um, I think people know the power of dopamine, which is a, 
uh, chemical in the brain. We get it from swiping on uh, Instagram and uh, obviously when we get likes on Facebook, it's actually a, uh, an epidemic uh, problem for people who don't understand, understand how their brain works. Um, there's no doubt that uh, even just re uh, receiving rewards such as tokens is going to be uh, triggering off the brain. And when, when you get rewarded for expression and your own stuff, I think uh, that's going to really, really uh, push this forward. Um, now, what's it going to cost? I mean, there's always some catches. I mean, it wasn't, like I said, there's an app, and it's going to come forward soon. And they're talking about a free model, uh, which will have ads. Um, and it's like anything, they give you, they give it away for free and annoys the shit out of you with the ads and then you decide to sign up. And, and I think there's a 13 cents revenue here per song per user example. Um, but there's going to be a premium subscription of $5. I imagine this is US dollars, uh, $4.95 monthly subscription. Now I pay for Spotify, I use it here in my gym. Um, and uh, I don't, haven't signed up to the YouTube version of that, I think it's Red, uh, red Music, I'm not too sure. Uh, so there are some apps that I'm willing to pay for, and I think it's I think it's worthwhile. If you've got a favourite artist, and you've got uh, you know someone that you really respect for their content, this is going to be a great way to um, reward them by you know, you know viewing them and watching them and rewarding them through this particular application. So there's going to be um, obviously a small fee, but oh, that's, that's chicken feed really. Um, token curation fee, so 20% share of tokens um, are going to be mined for current content. So um, like I said, it's that's the nature of blockchain. There's always some final details, um, some points here. I'm just having a quick read what that is. 50% less than, oh, so it's 50% less than competing services such as Spotify, TuneIn, Apple Music, and stuff like that. So they, this is taking on the big guns. They're going after um, all these platforms, and I think what the, the, the main advantage is that they're going to utilize those existing platforms and bring them all into one application. So here you are. Uh, jumping around from one application to another, but with a quick swipe, uh, maybe with a, there'll be a little bit of a, a menu you'll be able to choose, or automatically logged in, and you just go do 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 do, and you can go straight to your application and obviously reward the content below. I can see this being the winner, um, and I, this is probably one of the best ones I've come across. And unfortunately, there's no ICO. I can't get into it, um, but uh, it will be definitely there'll probably be tokens, and I'm sure there will be. Uh, incentives to actually get it onto your phone and use it, uh, even if you just want to use it um, as a, as a, uh, or as a, someone who uh, appreciates good content. So that's all I wanted to share, was current uh, media, like I said, um, no ICO, you know, but um, that's life, sounds like a great app. Tell me what you think of this one, is this good for uh, blockchain, is this going to be good for society, um, does this excite you as a coach or an artist? Um, whether you make movies, music, whatever, do you think this is going to um, maybe maybe provide you with an income you weren't going to get before? Uh, I think it's got some legs. So, yeah, tune into my uh, Steam it, as I always say. Let me know in the comments on my YouTube. Do you like it or do you not like it? Instead of giving me a thumb up or a thumb down, how about you tell me what you think? Just a one-liner. Um, show some intelligence and, uh, you know, sharing is caring and uh, I think uh, express yourself. Right. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tuning in to my next video.